Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. So today we're going to be talking about suspension, uh, primarily the suspension behind me. We'll get to that in a second. So why did I change the suspension on this bike? Um, because this was crap. Old worn out. They're shows. They're not bad from factory or anything. But the, the thing with suspension inherently is it's the same as the tune. It's the same as all that stuff. It's built for everyone and everything without looking at the at the outliers if that makes sense so you know smooth road but not too smooth uh, heavy-ish person but not too heavy I actually looked it up and found out that the weight of the primary rider so the person who sits here uh, is given in Europe and Japan at around about 75 kilos with the pillion passenger in passenger being about 65 now the two of those people together is just slightly heavier than me so as soon as I'm sitting on that all the time immediately these are wrong so this is the original show us off this by the way a partner in crime today is Boo my, my dog <laughs> she's gonna be wandering around for the video you might see her a lot from now on um, but that's that's why I changed it because this was a standard shock <laughs> for a you know, standard person and I'm not that so the biggest service you can do to yourself for your bike, to be honest, is to change to an upgraded shock, which is what I did with the Hagons, and we're going to talk about that now and review them. So what do I want to say about these shocks first? Well, everything is based off of two things, in my opinion, for shocks. Cost and quality, and they go kind of together, so really it's four. But cost and quality, because they're intrinsically linked, and also form and function. So we're not going to talk about the form and function straight away, we're going to talk about the cost and quality. So cost for Hagons, it's actually one of the reasons I went for them. They're pretty reasonable. They're not the cheapest, YSS is cheaper, um, but they're also not the most expensive. Hyper Pro is more expensive, as is uh, Olin's, if you know, anyone can afford Olin's. <laughs> but why I went for them is you contact Hagon with your weight, your type of riding, the type of bike it's going on, do you carry, carry a pillion? And they grade this for you. Now I know other companies do that as well, but it's just the fact that that little bit cheaper. And in this case, between this spring and something I could have, could have gotten from HyperPro, I think I saved over 100 euro, which is a lot of money on a bike that's worth two and a half. So the quality, what can I say about them? Can't really complain. These have done over 5,000 kilometers now on this bike, which I know isn't a lot, but look, this isn't a daily runner. For me, it's my... <laughs> It's my secondary bike. Uh, everyone knows my CBF is currently my daily because it's modern, it has EFI, we won't get into that. But the quality, they fit straight away and they have not tarnished at all. So you can see, I don't wash my bikes very often. That's, that's a failing on my part. But all the fit and finish of this spring is a beautiful. Um, you know, like all of the dials, the adjustments for the rebound, uh, the adjustments for your preload, all that is still perfect, really good condition, and this bike does get ridden in bad weather. The only blemish is the washer, which I didn't change, that's entirely my own fault. But for quality, from my point of view, top notch from Hagon, especially for the price. And that's why I said they're linked. They're just, cost and quality, you gotta give them a 9 or a 10 out of 10, because, like I said, they're linked. If this was a 200 euro shock, and you know it did it did the job of a 500 euro shock you'd be nearly saying 12 out of 10 but this does exactly what it says in the tin it's of a good construction it handles my weight well and it's comfortable you know it just works so yeah especially when you pair in the fact that Hagon's customer service is top notch they're really quick to respond to you really helpful and really nice couldn't couldn't really recommend them higher so overall from a quality perspective i mean these these have been used on every road i've used them pretty much off road mountain roads, smooth roads, back roads here and you know the whole way through they've kept my fairly sizable bum comfortable um, and kept the bike really well planted so quality wise can't complain they haven't leaked they haven't corroded they fit well and all the parts came in the box to fit them looking at you several companies I've talked about in the past <laughs> but anyway yeah so quality really good so next form and function those two don't have to not go together, but I'll put it to you this way. If this, if this mic here did the same job, but was bright green, I probably wouldn't buy it because it doesn't blend in and, you know, in my opinion, ruin my videos. 
obviously it wouldn't ruin them, but you know what I mean? It'd look out of place. So form and function, again, they're linked. But for me, function is more important because it's a bike. You know, it has to keep you contacted with the road. It has to keep you comfortable while you're in contact with the road. You know, it has to be adjustable, etc., etc., etc. These are. So not only do you have rebound adjustment on these shocks, you also have preload adjustment, and they're both very easy to get to. So let's have a look at how you do that. So to adjust preload, it's a... Uh, oh, there's a spider hanging off my hat. So get out, get the... Anyway. So to adjust preload, it's regular old C-spanner with this. You know, your, your left and right, clickety-clicks, fairly straightforward. And then to adjust your rebound, there's a little dial in here, which is much easier to move around, um, and you kind of play around with that. I haven't really touched that much since it, it came set from Hagon, and it came set with a tab to hold it in place. I have adjusted this around and played with a bit, um, as you know, I've been throwing on pillions and stuff onto this bike. But generally, again, the setting it came with, um, it was perfect at for me, and I've just counted my clicks as I moved, moved it around. So, you know, function, it works as a shock, and it's easy to adjust, and it's easy to fit. Can't complain. And then there's form, which is pretty much just the looks. Um, Hagon don't give you a whole pile of customization there, which is one fall down I will knock them for. Um, like the options for that were pretty much black or chrome spring. Uh, everything else was kind of standard. But I do think it's a huge upgrade over the stock, which ignoring the rust was still ugly from factory in my opinion, but I was never a fan of big chrome cloaks on things so you know that's an, that's an, that's a matter of taste you might love this and might be right now screaming at your computer screen asking me why i changed it but from a hagon perspective it's one thing i would have to take points off you know their cost is very good their quality is excellent their function is excellent but but their form they just don't have enough options for me you know if you have a bike that you're really particular about color matching things which you know some people are and I completely understand um, they might not be for you and you might have to st stump up the extra cash in order to go to somewhere that can colour your shock for you the other thing is these are rebuildable well a lot of their shocks are rebuildable I don't know if all of them are rebuildable so you know if you're comfortable doing it you can take them apart and get the spring powder coated you know as you wish um, just the rest of it might be a bit difficult so we'll have to knock a few points off there but you do have the option between chrome and black spring um, and it's generally a stainless steel body or some of the, the classic look shocks so the, the dual shocks um, have the option of a black body like that which I think fits this bike a hell of a lot better than this So to summarize, would I recommend Hagon? Absolutely, I honestly couldn't be happier with their product you know from a cost, quality, all that stuff they're just excellent uh, I would like a little bit more customization on the colour options um, but I've been so happy with them, I've decided to go back. <laughs> Come here. So I liked them so much that I decided to go back um, for Big Bertha here. I have ordered a single shock for the back of Bertha. <laughs> Hello. And that's what's going to be going on it is a Hagon. And you know, I priced around, I looked at Hyper Pro, I looked at Olin's, I looked at Nitron. And the one that just made the most sense was Hagon. You know, if you actually look at the, the materials used in the construction of the shock and everything else, it just made sense. So I decided to go with them again. So is, is the Hagon the most supple shock you can buy? Probably not. Is it the best on the track? Probably not. Is it the best on the road? Probably not. Is it the best looking? Definitely not. But for the money and for the quality you're getting for what you're paying, I honestly don't think it can be beaten really, it's just for the service and what and, and, and the function of it, it's really 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 good. So that's why I decided to go with them again and I honestly would have no problem recommending them to any of you if you're looking for a shock, either double shock on an old classic bike or a single rear shock on the likes of something like this, go for it. You know, I even asked them to look at raising the seat height on this, um, you know, and adjust the adjustment for me with riding gear, a pillion with riding gear, and also luggage, um, and all that stuff. So, you know what I mean? It's just, you can't really beat it. Yep. So, really looking forward to getting the Hagon on there and testing it on the road. But as an overall review, um, would I recommend Hagon? Yes, absolutely. 
could not be happier with how they turned out in the magnet and I think they improved the look on the magnet to no end. So, if you watched, thank you very much for watching. As always, a special thanks to my patrons and thank you very much for your help in deciding what was the next mod to go on this bike, which is also what brought this video about. So, thank you very much. You're all legends, as always. And yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Adios. Outro crew. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> That's it. Isn't she a beautiful doggy? I think she is. Bye. Little woman. <laughs>